Do, 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 do. Look at me just casually walking around at night time with absolutely no armor on my body. Hopefully there's no dragons or monster type creatures out here in the wild. Wouldn't that just be absolute oh gosh. What is that? Uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Uh, monster who I totally didn't plant here to run into accidentally on this night of all nights. Uh, how do you do that? I, I come in peace. I come in peace. <laughs> how you doing there, big guy? Um, oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. I, I assure you. No, it's okay. No. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie me. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to our Mega Modded Survival. Uh, you can count this as kind of like an episode 30.5 or version 2 or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like a little midway episode, okay? We will have a proper episode out in a few hours from now, but uh, I couldn't help but check out this brand spanking new mod that has just been sort of released in early access, okay? That monster up ahead is like no creature that has ever set foot in Ark before. I know he might look a little ordinary. I'm joking, of course. There is nothing. I've, I've never seen anything like that in my life. But that is the Armadron. And he's the first of many dinosaurs or creatures. I guess it's not really a dinosaur. The first of many creatures, dragon-related type beasts that are going to be appearing in an upcoming mod by Shadalos, who you might know as the guy behind the Additional Creatures mods. Yeah, Additional Creatures is basically going to have its new little, like, crazy creature offshoot called Grand Hunt. And this is the uh, the first of the crazy Grand Hunt creatures. Now, this is currently like behind a bit of a paywall. If you want to support the mod developer and his team who are putting in the work, the hard yards to get these crazy creatures uh, into our games, then you got to go and head over to his Patreon, which is patreon.com slash shadloss. And uh, that'll basically get you access to um, all of, well, this creature to begin with, and then all of the future ones that are coming along. I think there's about 30 of them all together. Um, but these guys have like completely custom some, uh, I guess, behaviors, traits, attacks, models, obviously, animations. Everything is built from the ground up. Uh, it's very, very <laughs> unique. Uh, and today I'm going to run through how this guy exactly works, how you can tame your own Armadron. It's going to be pretty crazy. It's going to be... I, 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 I don't know. Okay, all right. We've already intimidated him. The dragon takes an imposing stance. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, 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 stop. Um, before he gets too angry. Where's my medal? Where's my medal? Okay, we need it. Okay, I think we've already upset him. He just breathed fire. I saw that fire. Oh, it might have been just a warning. But as you can see, I dropped a little bit of metal on the ground. And he has decided to eat the metal. He's still a little bit angry though. Uh, so we should drop him some silicate. I don't know why I'm dropping him 50 of it, <laughs> but we're just going to drop 50 of it. Uh, basically, there's a bunch of different resources. I might not have dropped it close enough to him actually. But uh, basically, the way you tame him up is with a variety of resources. Metal, you've got uh, obsidian, you've got polymer, you've got green, blue, red gems, all of which use, I guess, uh, I guess they, they, they tame him up a different amount, I guess you can say. Um, and basically, yeah, we just got to throw these resources onto the ground. He doesn't trust us. Look at him. He's like ever so cautious. And then he goes and like snatches it up. Okay. Yep. 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 He's still, he's still not happy with us. Um, but yeah, each of these resources, I guess, has, or tames him up like a different amount, starting from the least effective, which is metal. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's, there's some food there for you, buddy. Just go and eat it. Go and eat it. There's some element ore. Yeah. We've got metal. Followed by... Oh, the dragon seems to be getting upset. Oh, he's getting angry. All right, I got to get out of there. All right, I got to get out of there. He's not happy. Also, Caprasuchus. What are you doing there, buddy? I just saw him charging across the screen. Is he angry? What's he doing? All right. No, no, no. We're still not friends just yet. We're still not friends. So, yeah. Basically, the, the least effective of these resources that you can feed him to tame him up is metal, followed by crystal or obsidian. I kind of want to, like, see exactly how much each of them does, but I can't get close to him to find out. Um, then you've got green gems or blue gems, followed by red gems and silicates, followed by black pearls. I don't... I don't like that that's down there either. Um, followed by element ore. Okay. So... I kind of just want to get up close with him so I can feed him. Take some element ore. You got to make sure you don't throw him all the, like the entire stack because whether he eats a stack of it or he eats one of it, um, it's going to work out the exact same way. And I think he's actually going to go and nab that up. There he goes. All right, all right, all right. So the way this all works is uh, we're basically going to keep doing what we're currently doing until he's 30% tamed. And once he's 30% tamed, I think he might have just eaten a little bit more. 
Okay, I, I don't think he trusts us yet. But once he's 30% tamed, uh, he's going to trust us. He's going to be... Not that he, we're going to be friends or anything like that, but I think he takes a little bit of a less aggressive stance. Um, he's not as aggressive in nature. I'm still absolutely terrified of him, to be honest. Um, I'm going to try and give him some food. Let's get... Oh, is he? Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Just, just drop it. Maybe. Or is he going to eat food? Yeah, he's going to eat food. All right. All right. Careful. 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 We're probably way too close right now. The dragon takes an opposing stance. All right. It's going to get away from him. It's going to get away from him. So the creatures in this mod that are going to be coming to this mod are heavily inspired by, I guess, different monsters and dragons from possibly some other games that you may have heard of. Um, but I guess they're all very monster-like and dragon-like. They're going to be very... Oh, I just can't wait to see what this mod actually comes up with, to be honest, because it's going to be it's going to be crazy. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's going to go eat a little bit. Can I get an idea of how tamed up he is, though? I, d I don't know. I wish there was some sort of way to find out. You know what I should just do? Because it looks like he's just going to pick up all of the little bits and bobs that I've dropped. I just... Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you see those little hearts? Are we friends? Are we friends? I think... I think so. <gasps> he's not scaring me away anymore. All right. The male Armadron is 35%. 34.9. All right. All right. Cool. 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 So he's not going to attack me right now. So I'm going to keep on throwing down... These little elements, uh, what do you call them? Ores. I wish I had a better way of doing these. <laughs> I'm just going to throw a bunch of them. Uh, surely he's going to come over and eat them. I guess there was one over there waiting for him. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yeah, 43.3% of the way there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All oh, right, this is so good. This is so good. Uh, but basically, at least now we can get like a good look at his face and everything. We can see exactly what's going on up there in that mug of his. Let me quickly drop him some food. He looks like he might be sniffing around for some good stuff. Come on, buddy. You know you want it. He's sitting right there in front of you. There he goes. Oh, this is so good. Oh. Now, the next stage is basically at 80%. Um, and they've thought of everything, okay? They've thought of absolutely everything. Like, um, I think at this point, he's only friends. He only trusts me, basically. So if you're like a tribe member... Uh, of mine, he's still gonna, not going to trust you. He's going to attack you on sight. I think we need to get him to about 80% tamed up before he trusts me, he trusts my dinosaurs, and he trusts everything else. Uh, supposedly, if a tribe member or one of your dinosaurs or a wild dinosaur decides to attack him at this point, it's not going to sabotage your, your taming either. You're still going to be like on good terms, so that's good. However, if I was to attack him, I don't think that would be the case. Um, I guess that's why the love hearts are on me as well. So you can see down the bottom right of the screen as well, I should mention, uh, we have a, a buff that's called Friend of the Red Dragon. Our Madron has decided you are tolerable. As long as you do not attack us, it will not attack you. So as long as we're friendly to him, he will be friendly to us. Which uh, I guess is pretty pretty evident from what we've seen so far, hey? Um, and I'll tell you what, if you guys want me to like... I guess keep this in my in my in my series because we are in our modded world. This is our mega modded survival after all. Like I said, it's kind of like a level 30.5. Then let me know with a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. And I cannot reiterate enough. If you want to go and play with this guy for yourselves or any of the upcoming whatever it is, 30 or so creatures that are added to this mod, then head over to patreon.com slash shadloss and uh, you'll gain instant access. Or at least you, you'll find out how to get access. Um, Patreon, for those of you who don't know, is, uh, is a way that you can support your creators, basically pitching in uh, a few dollars a month to your favorite creators, whether they're artists or modders or YouTubers or streamers. I'm stuck on his wing right now. Um, but yeah, you, you've probably heard of it. It's very, very common uh, in our community, in, in all communities, I suppose. <laughs> Also, please don't walk too far, buddy. I don't want you to end up in that water. Um, yeah, I've actually had a lot of people asking me if I've got a Patreon because they want to, like, help support me and the channel. But I do not yet. I just... I don't know. I just... I've never really thought about putting one together. I, yeah. If I guess if people want me to, I could. But um, I don't see why they would. <laughs> All my content's for free as it is. But no disrespect to anybody or any other YouTubers that uh, have a Patreon set up i know syntax and a lot of a lot of other youtubers do anyways let's keep getting this guy going he's getting close i feel like we've only got to give him two or three more element ores that's another one down man he is an absolute machine oh wait wait oh i forgot wait is that just now is that just now that we're at like 
I think I can passive tame him. Maybe not. It just said wait till he's hungry. Or maybe maybe I have to... Okay, no, I think it, maybe it just meant that I need to wait until he's hungry to throw the next piece down. Or you know what I should do? Maybe I should read the mod description. It'll probably tell me. Stick around, you're a Madron, to continue to give it gifts. At 80% taming, it would become friendly. Well, I guess we've passed 80%. <laughs> there we go. We've tamed up the red dragon, our Madron. Uh, I do not have a saddle for him, though. I should probably go back to my base and get one of those. You sit tight, my dude. I'll be back for you shortly. We got our saddle. So let's saddle this guy up and see what he is made of. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, Madron, throw that saddle on. Now, yes, it does have like a custom animation build to it i wasn't sure so the saddle is actually strapped onto him perfectly i know a lot of mods don't do that they don't i guess build like a custom saddle they just kind of they're built onto pre-existing uh creatures but there we go and i want to see his like hop around animation he kind of looks like he's just so that's his walking that's his oh yeah he's got like a bit of a leap going all right i like that i like that i like that he has I guess a little turny. We got, we got, let's check out his attacks. Left click is a little bite. If I'm running, yep, still a bit of a bite. Right click is fire breath. Dude, it's so intimidating with his wings just spread out like that. Uh, C attack. Oh, he does have a C. It's like a swipe. X. Ooh, a bit of a tail swipe. Nice. Control. Dude, this guy's stacked with attacks. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay. All right. This guy means. Did I just. Oh, wait, no. Wait, am I on? What's going on? Oh, I set myself on fire by flying through the explosions. <laughs> oh, you dummy. What's wrong with you? And I'm, I'm still under the effects of this buff, by the way. 118 seconds left to go. So, these are the stats for a level 270 R Madron, for those of you that are wondering. 30,000 health. Um, quite a bit of stamina. I don't know what sort of damage he deals. I guess we can go and test that out. I don't want to find a Dodo Rex, though. I just want to find Diplodocus. Perfect. My guy over here. Uh, let's crank that melee damage up a tad, and let's have a look. So, this guy is, I guess, intended for more of a vanilla setting. So, we are a little bit over-modded for this, but I thought this world would be a good opportunity to demonstrate what he's made of. Deals about 30 damage per tick on the Fire Breath. Swipe attack, 230 damage. This is actually massive damage in, like, your average setting. X. Oh, and then you, you control. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so ridiculous. In a vanilla world, that would be next level madness right there. Anyways, so that's, I guess, it for as far as his um, attacks and whatnot go. But he still has a very, very cool feature. If you go into here, you can actually trade with him. Uh, you can offer him different ingredients and in return he's going to give you certain stuff um for example if i give him element ore we're gonna get we gave him 81 element ore and i think in return he's actually going to give us well there you go 81 element shards oh that's cool that's cool okay let's trade black pearls i don't know what he's gonna give me in return but there's 100 black pearls what's he gonna give us Wait, what do you got for me buddy 100 element... Sh oh, damn. More element shards. Okay. Dude. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. 50 silicate left over because I threw half a stack at him a little bit earlier. 100 blue gems. Okay. And I figure that's going to give blue gems. I feel like that'll give green gems. Or that'll give blue gems too, maybe. Or maybe it'll give red gems. Maybe it's random. I don't know. Maybe we'll... Yeah, okay. Green gems. I was actually right. But it gave double the amount. What if I were to give him metal? I feel like metal is going to give me something really bad, right? Because metal is like the cheapest ingredient. Oh, I don't have any more. Okay, I don't have any metal. <laughs> Let's try obsidian. I know I've definitely got obsidian. Let's see what we get out of this. What do you got for me, big guy? I feel like it's going to be... Oh, silicate. But then I can trade my silicate for element shard. Either way, <laughs> this guy is a beast. I love it a bit. I hope you guys do as well. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. Should I keep this guy in our modded world or should this be a little bit of a... Should this be a little bit of a non-canon episode, you know? like Kind of like a little side series, if you know what I mean. But uh, for today, we're calling it here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video of the first Grand Hunt creature, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups but most importantly have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time with some more mega modded arc in fact i'll catch you in five hours from now when the next episode goes live bye for now